Welcome back my friends. Today we have a powerful small compute module from Lite Panda called Lite Panda Mu. The Lite Panda Mu is based on the Intel N100 processor and is twice as powerful as the Raspberry Pi 5. The Mu features a 4 core processor with 8 GB of LPDDR5 RAM and 64 GB of built in eMMC 5.1 storage. Lite Panda has released two carrier boards for the Mu. The one which I have is called the Light Carrier Board. Here I am assembling it with a cooling fan. This carrier board includes all the basic features of a PC plus a PCIe 3.0 expansion slot and dual M2 expansion slots. The boards are open source so you can create your own hardware for specific applications. So today we are building a custom mini PC with a color changeable LED matrix using the Lite Panda Mu. To start, I designed a case for the Lite Panda in Fusion 360 and 3D printed it using matte black PLA with 100% infill. For the LED matrix, we are using WS2812B 144 LED strip cut into segments of 12 LEDs each and soldered them on to a piece of cardboard. While this looks more like a prototype, I have also designed a PCB LED matrix which you can find on my GitHub repository and get fabricated. The case cover features an embedded LED matrix grid which is also 3D printed. I began by printing in white filament for the diffuser layer, then switched to matte black. This created a single piece with dual colors allowing the lights to diffuse nicely. To control the LED matrix, we'll use the Vemos D1 Mini with WLED software. We'll solder the connector that came with the LED strip. Now take 4 M3 6mm metal inserts and fuse them to the housing case using a soldering iron. Since I didn't have M3 inserts, I used the nuts that came with the carrier board and they work perfectly. Next place the acrylic piece that came with the carrier board inside the case followed by the carrier board. Secure the carrier board using the screws provided. Since the power button is not accessible through the case, we need to extend it by adding the additional push button. Follow the connection diagram and carefully solder the push button as improper soldering can damage the board. Once that done, assemble the LED matrix on the cover. Align the LED matrix with the cover grid and press it into place. I have pre-programmed the VMOS. For more details, follow the written article below. Connect the VMOS D1 Mini to the LED matrix and power it by connecting to the PC. You should see the matrix working. To power the LED matrix through the carrier board, connect the VMOS to the carrier board. Once the connections are done, mask all the electronics using the masking tape, then close the cover by snapping it onto the housing. And that's it, just power on the mini PC and you are good to go. The Lite Panda Mu comes with Windows 10 out of the box, but I have installed Ubuntu for my convenience. To control the LED matrix animations, use the IP address of the board by scanning your network. For more details, watch the YouTube tutorials on WLED. It's very simple. Hope you like this project. If so, hit that like button, comment if you have any questions and subscribe to support the channel. Thank you and I'll see you next time with a new project.